video lecture will be about the synthesis of nanoparticle in this lecture we will discuss about the biological methods that are used for the synthesis of nanoparticles Biological method are classified into two categories one is microorganism based method and the second one is plant extract based mechanism in case of microorganism based method in which we will use the microorganism such as bacteria fungi yeast algae there are certain enzymes that are present in their cells and that enzymes can be helpful in the formation of nanoparticles second method is plant extract based mechanism so the plant extract or the phytochemical that are present in the plant extract can be helpful in the formation of nanoparticles green synthesis green synthesis is the biological method or we can also say the biological method is known as green synthesis green synthesis of nanoparticle is the most accepted method as it provide various advantages over conventional techniques such as chemical or physical method these both method are discussed in the previous lecture the advantage of this technique are eco friendly easy no sophisticated instruments are required no toxic chemicals are involved because reducing agent and stabilizing agent used in the nanoparticle formation are derived from plants plant provide free reducing stabilizing and keeping agent these are the chemical reagent that are derived from the phytochemicals or from plants that can be used for the uh, formation of nanoparticles and also the cost of microorganism and culture media is reduced so we are using the microorganism so th uh, the culture media or the cost of the culture media use uh, for the microorganism based nanoparticle preparation is reduced ultimately reducing the overall cost of the formation the product form during uh, using this method is more stable with desired shape and size so we can get the desired shape and size using the biological methods here is generalized scheme given for the formation of nanoparticle in first step the metal ion that are used for the formation of nanoparticle it is reduced to metal zero form by or we can say that it will it will undergo the bio reduction process using some bio reducing agent such as enzyme protein flavonoids terpenoids etc these bio reducing agents are derived from either the microorganism or plant leaf or plant extracts in second step the metal in zero form or metal in reduced form it will undergo nucleation and growth of particles and it will produce the agglomerated nanoparticle it should be clear that the size of this agglomerated particle should not exceed the nano size range third is the stabilization the agglomerated particle will have some stabilizing agent derived from the plant extract and it will uh, coat or it will keep the agglomerated particle now the size of the uh, nanoparticle that are produced through agglomeration will be fixed through stabilizing agent or the keeping or coating agent what is the advantage of these capping agent there are two uh, cape or uncapped particle silo nanoparticles are given so here capping agents is used and here no capping agent is used if we look at the structure there are separate particles while here it will have agglomerated particles having charged body having charge on the surface so it mean that there will be further agglomeration and aggregation of particle that will exceed the nano size range while in this case there will be no ag further aggregation of the particle so it will have stability and it will have loss of stability it will have size control while there will be the aggregation or agglomeration of particles it will have biocompatibility the cap nanoparticle will have biocompatibility while the uncapped nanoparticle have ionization or the ion that are present at the surface of the uh, 
nanoparticles. First method is the microorganism based method. This method is based on the use of fungi, bacteria, algae for the formation of nanoparticles. There are different mechanisms for the formation of nanoparticles using different microorganisms. First, the metal ions are captured on the surface or inside of the microbial cell. So here we, we are using the fungi or it is the fungal culture. The silver in the form of silver nitrate is added. So the nitrate reductase enzyme that are present in the fungal culture, it will reduce the silver ion into silver zero form. And further it will undergo the nucleation and agglomeration. So the first, the metal ion are captured on the surface or inside of the microbial cell and then these arrested metal ion are reduced into metal nanoparticle by the action of enzymes. The mechanism of microorganism assist is silver or gold nanoparticle form via verticillium species or algal biomass based on the following hypothesis. So we are using here the silver ion in the form of silver nitrate and it is bioreduced to silver uh, nanoparticle or silver zero state. So there are two step process given. First the silver or gold ion were captured on the surface of the fungal cells via electrostatic interaction between the ions that is a silver or gold ion and negatively charged cell wall. So in first step here it is the uh, fungal cell wall or fungal cell which has negative charge and the silver ion has positive charge so there will be the inter electrostatic interaction between the metal ion and the negative charge cell wall. So first step will be the electrostatic interaction that will move the silver ion towards the fungal cell. Then the silver or gold ion were bioreduced into silver or gold nuclei which subsequently grow. So here when it is reached to the cell, so the silver ion it will be reduced to silver zero ion. So that is the enzymatic reduction and it will produce the silver nanoparticle. Then it will further grow and through nucleation or keeping agent it will produce the silver nanoparticle, stabilized silver nanoparticle. The two key aspect in the biosynthesis of the nanoparticle are nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide dependent nitrate reductase. So these are the two um, uh, chemicals involved for the synthesis of or bioreduction of the metal ion into nanoparticles. Microbial conversion of metal and metal lights to respect to nanoparticle can be accomplished through extracellular and intracellular activities. Extracellular, extracellular mode involve trapping the metal ion on cell surface and reducing the metal ion in the presence of enzyme. The extracellular process involves the reduction of metal ion by microbial enzymes and proteins, bacterial and fungal cell wall components or other organic molecules present in the culture medium. Extracellular enzymes such as nitrate reductase can help in the electron transfer from certain donor group that are the hydroxyl group to metal ion and thus help in the conversion of metal into metal nanoparticles. It has been observed that the functional groups such as the amine, hydroxy, thiol and carboxyl of microbial protein help in stabilizing of the nanoparticle by providing the binding site to the metal ion. So in case of extracellular activity or extracellular mode, the metal ion are first trapped on the surface of the cell wall and then it is bioreduced. So the here some proteins are present or the some functional group are present on the surface of protein that are in the cell of the micro, microorganism that will stabilize or that will provide the binding site for the reduction process. Intracellular enzymes involve the transporting ions into the microbial cell 
to form nanoparticle in the presence of enzyme extracellular are the uh, mode of the enzymatic activity that are on the cell surface or cell wall intracellular it will it will involve the transportation of the ion in, into the cell into the microbial cell and here it will be reduced this process involves initial electro electrostatic attraction of the metal ion by carboxyl group of the microbial cell wall resulting in passage of the metal ion through the cell and reduction by cytoplasm component that are the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide components vitamins and organic acids so here the uh, metal ion is transported into the uh, cell cell of the microorganism while in extracellular activity or extracellular mode the metal ion is reduced on the surface of the cell wall second method is plant leaf extract based mechanism for nanoparticle synthesis mediated by plant leaf extract the extract is mixed with metal solution at different reaction condition followed by the reduction and stabilization so here we will get the plant extract that will contain these chemicals it is mixed with the metal salt solution so here the metal salt will have positive ion and it will be reduced through these reducing uh, chemicals and uh, it will undergo the stabilization process to produce the nanoparticle so nanoparticle will undergo further the nucleation aggregation and further the stabilized nanoparticle or the cap nanoparticle will be produced here it has some advantage that the capping agent are provided by these chemicals the parameters such as types of phytochemicals phytochemicals are those chemicals that are present in plants phytochemical uh, concentration uh, the metal salts concentrations pH and the temperature are admitted to control the rate of nanoparticle formation as well as their yield and stability so here are some parameters that can control the rate of formation or the size of nanoparticles the main phytochemical present in plant are flavonoids, terpenoids, sugar, ketone, aldehyde, carboxylic acids and amides which are responsible for bioreduction of nanoparticles. Flavonoids contain some various functional groups that have enhanced ability to reduce the metal ions. Plant acid made up of carbohydrates and protein biomolecules that will act as a reducing agent and it will promote the formation of metallic nanoparticles also the protein has functionalized amino group available in plant extract that can actively participate in the uh, re reduction or bioreduction of the metal ion into corresponding nanoparticles here is the comparison between both the mechanism mechanism from the microorganism based method and the plant leaf extract method both these method are the biological method and both can be equally useful for the formation of nanoparticles but here we will compare these both mechanism which one is better or which one is suitable for the formation of nanoparticle the phytochemical present in plant leaf extract have potential to reduce the metal ion in much shorter time as compared to fungal and bacteria which demand a longer incubation time so the first advantage is the phytochemical that are present in plant will have much shorter time for the formation of nanoparticle while the bacteria and fungi will need the longer incubation time second is the plant leaf extract play a dual role it will have double role it will have reducing agent and stabilizing agent which mean that it will reduce the metal ion into corresponding reduced particles and it will it will provide the stabilizing or keeping agent so it will have dual role it will reduce the particle and it will provide the stabilizing agent so it is clear that plant extract can be useful as compared to the microorganism based method